Good morning, everybody. Orange A here with another War of the Visions video, and today we are doing Let's Suggest Supports episode number six, and we are doing the much requested MR support grace today. So we're going to move away from like the double cost unit, the uh, shielding bruiser types we've been doing, and go back to the more traditional support that uh, really checks a lot of the boxes for what makes a unit good in this game. Uh, there is a reason you see a lot of grace in high level arena, in top level PvP, especially uh, when you have like a limited count, like when you're a you know, when you can only use a total score to build a team, as an MR unit, she's cheap for team building and really, really great. So let's let's talk about why, right? Let's bring her stats up on the screen, take a look at what I mean. That rhymed? Didn't mean it to. Sweet. Anyway, so look at those uh, stats, right? If we look at her magic, pretty low, 224, nothing special. HP, really low, 1175. So why do people like this chick so much? We well, gotta go to the bottom of the page here and look at those resists. Wow. Like, that has to jump off the page. Like, if you've been following my videos, if you pay attention to stats in this game, you should look at those resists and be like, oh, I have some ideas for how to build a team. And you're exactly right. Um, base, right? Like, right here she's running one passive for these stats, and that's her magic resist boosting passive, which gets it to 62. That's with no gear, no vision cards, no espers, nothing. Just one passive ability. Then look at her other resists. 35 slash, 35 pierce, 35 missile, 35 punching. Someday that's going to be useful, I swear. And then even her elemental resists are pretty good. She's only suffering a negative 5 from dark as a light unit, and then has 10 to everything else. So that's how you're going to want to build this girl. She's, <coughs> excuse me. She's really great in those resistance types teams, maybe even paired up with her sister, church girlfriend, whisper, whatever you want to call her, um, in a resistance based build. All right, let me give you some ideas of what I like to run on her as far as espers and vision cards before we jump into team building. So I'm going to throw a couple espers on the screen here. I'm going to throw Shiva and Siren up. Now, both of these have pretty good stats to boost Grace's stats, right? Like, they have kind of high magic, they have some HP, a lot of agility on both of these, but they also bring resistances on their board. Shiva brings Pierce Resist, plus 15, as well as Magic Attack and Magic Up, all things Grace is going to like. And then Siren is going to bring Slash Attack, plus 25. Wow, just with Siren and Grace's base stats, her slash resist is going to be 60. That's awesome. You want your healers or your supports to be able to survive a hit from the enemy and heal themselves back up. There's a ton of AoE in this game. You need your characters to be able to survive a random AoE. And Grace is kind of the queen of that for MR units. And then Siren also brings some Pierce attack up because there's like weird Grace Pierce builds you can do. We're not going to cover those in this. And she brings some water resistance for the future like Titus water meta. If you really wanted to boost your slash resist and water resist, she's going to be great for that meta. Um, as far as vision cards, really diverse, right? You want to just focus on her resist again and run like any of these cards that boost the resist that you're targeting. That's something that's really cool about Grace. There are so many more espers than the two I put on the board here that she likes to run. And there's so many more vision cards than the four I put on the board here that she likes to run. Essentially, she's a very, very diverse unit that can be built to fit specific comps. She's not a plug-and-play unit like Ayaka, who you don't really have to worry about her build too much. You gotta be a little smarter with Grace. You have to focus, pick your targets well. But if you do that, she really shines. So let's jump into team building. Let's see her in action and uh, see what she can do. All right. We're about ready to jump into a battle, but first let's go over our build. Let's go over what we're trying to do, who we're trying to fight, and why. So this is what I call like the Ayaka team, where you just take two of your really good units and you put a support in there. And you say, hey Dwayne, hey Kane, I want you to go win the fight for me. I'm here as Grace, 
to back you up and help you make that happen. Now she's going to do that by casting spells like Protect, by healing, and she's bringing full life because her kit is really nice. Let's take a quick look at her abilities. Cure, Esuna, Full Life, Holy, Kiraga. Like, this is the staple White Mage stuff that you want a White Mage bringing, and she brings all of it. This is UR level um, skill selection without maybe UR level stats backing them up. Uh, White Mage sub job here. We're going to turn most things off except for Protect and Curata. Uh, Curata gives her a nice single target cure and Protect because we're fighting physical teams. We want her casting Protect on our tank, etc. Now, Vision cards. You have Demon Wall here, which is going to give a slash attack resist buff to the group. Again, good synergy with Grace and good for the group. Then we have Leviathan to give Pierce attack resist to the group. Good synergy with Grace, good for the group. And you can see that we've built against the two main types of damage that are out there right now. We're pretty dang resistant. If we look at Grace's resist a little closer, you'll see 47 slash resist, 70 pierce resist, and 72 magic resist. Yeah, like I'm feeling pretty comfortable comfortable about her surviving an attack or two with those resists, even with this low HP. Her agility sitting at 73, so she's not super slow. She's going to be able to do things. And 24 defense just to help a little more. Now, in this group, her magic is 469. That's a little on the lower side, but we'll see if that is a huge hindrance to her in a fight. So let's... All right. So here's our first fight of the day. Um, you can see this is mostly a piercing team with some missile damage backing them up. Even though we're not built to fight missile damage specifically, this is mostly a piercing team and I feel like we'll do okay against this. So let's go ahead and try it. Now, the thought process behind this group is like this. We want Dwayne going in left. He has his initial aggro. He's gonna catch a protect should be pretty tanky. Kane is going to do Kane things. Like, Kane just does things and wins fights, and you've probably seen that so much lately. Anyhow, enemy team buffing up. The enemy team has significantly more agility than we do, apparently, because all three of them went first, but no big deal. We have Revitalized from our Dwayne. He's moving forward. Kane gets Immortal Spirit off. Great. And here comes Protect from Grace. So this is exactly... Uh, the kind of setup you want with this sort of team. Now, he's going to lose his Protect there, I believe. And somehow Glacella gets the Dream Leap Strike off. That's going to happen sometimes. We're not too concerned. And look at how our Piercing Defense just decimated Grace's attack. We didn't even care about it. They keep landing these Pierce attacks. So far, no big deal. In fact, Grace is going to cast a Protect on herself just to say, hey... Don't count me out of this thing just yet. Ooh, triple piercer on Kane. Kane survives it. Glacella got a ton of attacks off there and ends up dying before she can even kill anybody. Fantastic. Here's another jump from the enemy Kane, but before that goes off, we're going to get a Curata from Grace. Will this be enough to keep Dwayne alive? Yes, it is. So notice the heal didn't hit super hard because we're not really built for a ton of magic on this team. Grace's magic stat is a little bit low base, and that heal didn't hit particularly great. Now, he might have been healing debuffed from Kane. I might have missed that, I didn't see. But the heal was enough to keep him alive. We built resists, they were a piercing squad, and you saw how effective the pierce resistance was. We took all those hits and just kept on trucking. That's the kind of thing Grace brings, and even had somebody gone down, she still had full life ready to go. Okay, for our second fight here, we have a Warrior of Light, Kane, Nivlu again. Uh, Nivlu is starting to become all over the arena here. And that's not a problem. We could have gone for a Missile Resist card instead of a Pierce Resist. But Nivlu isn't like Luartha or somebody who's going to put out just insane amounts of damage so i would rather have the pierce resist and then demon wall is giving us the slash resist so we really don't want to swap that out so we'll just keep with what we have here 
the it, the difference in team comps this time is really they're bringing a true tank with warrior of light so we might need a little more sustain this time uh things like that so warrior of light getting quickened from nivlu nivlu functioning super well as that like hybrid support uh range unit that she is really cool unit like that's kind of lightning's theme okay jump from warrior of light 700 damage our resist so far looking good Nivlu being annoying, casting all these quickens on everybody. But enemy team not quite in range to start doing stuff yet. We get a nice AP drain on Warrior of Light. And we're off to the races. Grace probably casting Protect on herself here. Okay, there's the arrow. See, not a ton of damage from Nivlu there. We're not too concerned about that. And now hopefully Grace, there, perfect. Her positioning there is really good. She's in a place where she can do a lot to help the team but not so close that all these AOEs are just going to start melting her. All right, we've cleared the enemy tank. Our Kane's Courage goes off. And here's a Curata from Grace. 1583. That's a respectable heal. Now, we grouped in a really awkward way, and our Kane goes down. So will Grace decide to start healing um, our tank, or will she full life Kane? Both would be fine. She's going to go with Curata on Dwayne. Good, try and keep him alive. Nivlu still targeting him. Her arrow did not even hit for as much as the cure was. He drains her AP. And here you see it. This is that power of like a good healer with a smart enough AI to stay back a little bit. And a bruiser slash tank like Dwayne. We power through the fight and really won that pretty cleanly. It had been nicer if Kane had not stood next to Dwayne. So, you know, he get AOE down like that, but that was still a pretty good fight. Okay, we're going to switch up the team comp for the next fight. Let's check out our new comp uh, next. Okay, here's another comp that Grace can uh, really thrive in. We're going to keep her with the Pierce Resistance card, but we're going to run her in a magic team to like further boost her healing capabilities. And uh, maybe if she gets an attack or two off, like a holy, which she's bringing to the fight, it'll uh, hit a little harder. So we're going to run Kill Phase, kind of our tank with taunting spell. And then we're going to run Zombie Rai Ryu as our DPS. A very different comp here, but should be cool. Let's find a fight against a piercing or mixed damage team. Yeah, we really want piercing here. Um, we're looking for a cane. No, here's Men in Black. Uh, Men in Black is a really scary team. Uh, let's see how we do. Let's try it out. Okay, we're in the fight. Here's how we're kind of wanting it to go. We need Kilfay heading forward early, right? She's going to cast her three-hit reducing shield on herself, and then she's going to get protect from Grace. The thought is those two things together will help keep her alive long enough that Zombie Rai Ryu and then her own magic can just kill everybody. The enemy's not bringing any healers, so we're not going to have to worry about them sustaining through us necessarily. Okay, enemy Kane goes straight for Grace. We don't have any initial hate in this group, um, and he targets Grace, which is uh, a little unfortunate. But by doing that, he's out of position. We're going to target him with some magic. Let's see if we can just blow him off the map. Just like that. He's already dead. Uh, the nice thing about a magic team is they hit really, really hard. Now, oh, Hazard Slash. Very nice damage. Grace going to go ahead and heal herself. Oh, going to heal Zombie Rai Ryu. Well, that's kind of a cool synergy there. Didn't necessarily see that coming, but really nice. Enemy Ruin Stern is dead. Grace moves up. Now, this might be a mistake. Yes, she moved up to maximize the AoE from her Kiraga and ended up getting in range and dying. So a little bit of an oopsie there by her AI, but you could see it was trying to do the right thing. Um, just happens to be that turns worked out poorly for us, but she was targeted immediately by the enemy team and didn't die to like Kane's opening attack. Then the rest of, we just cleaned him up. So you can see here, she works really well in a magic team. Um, and she's really good at bringing that pierce resist into the fights. So let's go ahead. Let's move on to giving her some scores. See where she ranks on my uh, super precise perfect ranking list. 
So for scores, what we're going to do is use the same six metrics that we use for um, all of the support so far. That's heals, buffs, damage, movement, speed, and durability. Starting with heals, I'm going to score at a 90 here, and here's my reasoning for that. I think that she has access to all of the healing spells that white mages want, and that includes full life. Like, full life is a huge boost in anybody's... Um, repertoire of healing to me and that puts her right at that a level now she'd have scored higher than this if her magic was high enough to be somebody who could just reliably top people off but you see she heals enough to keep people alive and that's really what you want at the end of the day um and for an mr unit she excels at this job really really well okay let's move on to buffs i'm just going to give her an 80 for buffs because she has good buffs but they're just normal now i didn't talk about like green mage um uh grace here and i know there's going to be somebody in the chat who's like what about green mage grace yes she can be a green mage and she can buff light resist and she can buff agility and those things and perhaps that light resistance buff will be really really good in the light meta that's on the way or something but not yet i'm not willing to give her that boost yet so i'm just going to give her an 80 there damage i went back and forth on this i'm just going to give her a 75 on damage because she has access to holy which is such a good move um and i think you could run her with skull's vision card and give her ruinja if you really wanted to or you could run her as like this piercing unit there's potential there you didn't see it in these fights because she's really a support and her ai works as a support but know that she has holy sitting in her pocket if she ever runs out of tp or something so i just give her a 75 movement she's not a great mover i'm just going to give her a 70 she's 3-1 um if she was a tank the score would be lower because she'd struggle to get in as a healer you kind of want her staying back anyway so i'm not going to give her a super low score but we'll give her a 70 for movement it's just the basic stuff. Speed, I'm going to go to a 75 again. She's fast enough to function. I would like her to be a little faster, but she can cover for those deficits by really being able to use about any Esper she wants. So you can throw Siren on her and really give her a ton of agility. Or Shiva with a ton of agility. You have a lot of options with her. And with those options, you can boost her agility. So I'll give her a 75 average score here. Uh, durability. Oh, here's where she shines. I'm just going to give her a 95. Um, you didn't even get to see in those videos the most durable builds because that's the meta doesn't really fit that right now. But if there was like 100% slashing teams running around, oh, you could just crank her slash resist all the way up and uh, watch her take one damage from those slashers. Now, if she had more HP, I would consider boosting the score even more. But she is still a little bit vulnerable just because of her low HP pool. But in those fights you just watched, you saw her take like piercing lances from Kane. You saw her take leap strikes from Glacella. And she just was like, I'm good. I could heal myself if I wanted to. And in that last fight, she probably should have healed herself instead of Ryryu. However, her heal on Ryryu preserved one of his uh, revives. And that was really good. So we'll take it. Overall, okay, what's her final score? I'm going to give her an 88. She fills the same role as Ayaka, but falls exactly two points short of Ayaka in my 100% perfect grading scale. Yeah, that's obviously a lie. But she doesn't have Ayaka's limit break or UR stats, but really everything else she does is kind of similar. Now, she doesn't have access to Time Mage like Ayaka does, so if you wanted her boosting people's speed, you'd have to go the Green Mage route with that Agility buff. That's not bad. Um, it's an option, but she has Protect, she has the heals, and I just think, as an MR support, Grace is the bar. Now, the bar of a UR support is a 90 for me, so I guess the bar of an MR support is Grace, and I'm going to go 88. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope y'all gained an appreciation for Grace if you didn't already have one. I hope you can see now why you're going to see Grace's uh, 
all over the place for a while still. And if you're a newer player, boom, there you go. You could Grace could definitely tide you over to like a Yuna that we're going to see in a few months. So um, thanks for watching, everybody. This is probably the last episode of the support series season one. We're going to move on to um, a different series. I'll put a vote up in the like in the community tab of the channel. So check that out. Cast your vote for what series you want to see next. And uh, hit the like and subscribe button. I will see everybody in the next video.